good roads network is essential for a strong and thriving economy. The efficient and effective transportation of goods and services help to speed up the socio-economic development of a society. Since assumption of office as governor of Delta State, Senator Dr. Arthur Ifanyokoa has committed huge state resources in constructing new roads and rehabilitating older ones with the sole objective of opening up hitherto inaccessible communities. The administration's massive investments in roads construction has improved interconnectivity and linkage of communities just as it has bridged the infrastructure gap between the rural and urban areas. We do realize that when communities are interconnected, particularly with good roads, it helps commerce, it leads to industrialization, it leads to urbanization of the rural areas, and we have continued to build more and more roads because of the fact that we want our various rural communities to become urbanized. As of today, we have awarded about 317 road projects covering well over a thousand kilometers of road. A lot of them have been completed, uh, several of them commissioned, some yet uh, to be commissioned. Through his policy of Rural Urban Link as panacea for sustainable development, the Akoa led administration has progressively transformed the face of many communities in the hinterland. You never knew that they can do a road in the river community. Since the inception of democracy, I think this is the first time we are experiencing that, and which has been very, very good to our people in the road infrastructure. That's the more reason why we say we're voting back come 2019. Communities that tend to be far from one another are now interrelating through root construction. Essentially, the governor has done extremely well in terms of community linkage. Through the State Ministry of Works, the Akawa-led administration has broken new grounds in using roads construction as a veritable platform to link isolated communities to urban areas in Delta Central region. In this wise, the Ugeli Afisiri Ufoma Road which crisscrosses several smaller communities in Ugeli North local government area, serves as an important economic gateway linking the cosmopolitan Ugeli town to other communities and even the outside world. Thank God for the government, they really helped us. Before the two motors cannot pass here once, but now there is enough space. It's very good now. Since we were in, uh, Governor Okowa has been there for us as a governor, uh, we say we are benefiting for his hand work. For the people of Uye local government area, their joy knew no bounds when the Ekete Road, constructed by the Okawa led administration, was completed and commissioned in record time after several years of neglect. <laughs> Emmanuel Isierho, who plies the road frequently, and Frank Ezek, a commercial bike operator, share their experiences on the road with Smart Delta Crew. We appreciate the effort of Ekowa for making all this road motorable because it's wet tide. This is what we want. We need a good leaders because since uh, over years ago, the road has been bad. We are suffering the road. Now he did it. We appreciate because too much of gallop, they bring body pains, but now we are driving free. Beyond its importance to motorists, the Ekete Road provides essential access to isolated communities in Uvia local government area, Ugeli and Udu, as well as ease of movement to workers in the now revamped Premium Steel and Mines Complex in Alaja. Emmanuel Bomalefe, who is the youth president in Alaja, and Henry Sabra, Commissioner for Special Duties Government House, speak on the many benefits of the road. Because of the bad state of the road, the road is not accessible. Even people living in the area, a lot of complaint. Always repair, repair of vehicle. But now you can see the entire community people, they are very happy because of the road being done by the governor. This road will last for a very long time because the material being used in this road is very powerful. 
this road is one of the many roads that His Excellency has embarked upon. When I mean one of the many roads, it's just one road, but it serves several interest communities. At Ugbomra Road, also in Uwe local government area, the impactful rural urban link road construction program of the okoa led administration has left an indelible mark on the lives of the people. Before they do the road, nothing is moving. The road you not know, allow people to sell markets or to do anything at all because everywhere is very rough. But it's when I do the road, so development everywhere is busy now. I can say more than before. This is one of the best roads where the Kowa do. The next year 2019 we go vote for them because of the good job we do. They continue more. The rehabilitated Okbare Umolo Odokpopo Kiagodo Road, which spans several communities and linking many more to the more developed areas in Ugeli South Local Government Area, is one of the many roads projects executed by the Okoa led administration designed to generate economic activity through rural urban connectivity. The road before is full with sand. When we are coming for the farm, it's difficult for us to move in the road. But I travel out, but I came back, I see the road is okay. I'm happy as I see the road because I know development is coming to this town. In Orerokwe alone, the Quality Roads Network, which links the residents of Onomigo, Ejiere and Oroje streets, stands out, while the construction of Okuvo Popogri Puraja, Iriama Junction Road, have increased the volume of economic activity to a once sleeping agrarian community. I felt so happy about what the present administration is really doing for us in terms of road infrastructure, uh, renovation of schools, building of markets, name it, whatever you can think of. The government has really done well in this local government, even throughout the state. For when I drive a body, they pay me better now. But not they pay me again because everywhere is smooth go where I they enjoy a way for the driving. In Sapale, which houses the famous African Timber and Plywood Company, ATMP, and the Songhai Amukwe Agricultural Training Center, quite a number of constructed and rehabilitated roads that are geared towards stimulating economic growth through rural urban link are visible. We hope that people are tired of you. We have helped us so much for a very long time. No project has been commissioned in Upper Kingdom. Now, the project has been commissioned in Upper Kingdom. During your tenure, we appreciate your excellency. I will pray that you will be an extension of your road so that we can commission more projects in the Open Kingdom. The construction of road linking the Joyce Uvera streets to Otuedo Street and Ugberi Koko, all in Sapler local government area, has changed the living condition of the inhabitants of the area, who before now had harrowing stories to tell due to its bad condition which adversely affected economic activity. With this, we are praying that she come back for 2019 because you're going to do a lot as data is consigned. Okoa is going back again 2019. We are very happy to have Okoa as our governor. The rehabilitated and asphalt overlay 12 kilometer Ekiranwe or Isiokolo Road, which links Ugeli North local government area with Ethiopia East, is vital for the economic well being of the people. Due to its economic importance, it was a carnival-like atmosphere when Governor Koa led highly placed dignitaries to commission the road, which will foster rural urban connectivity in a sustainable way. We are indeed very happy that you are here in this community. And by the grace of God, your visionary leadership is an indelible mark. We want to assure you that the support you've given to us will continue to be sustained. The governor is a man who loves God and hence we are seeing a lot of um, development. Welcome to Delta State, a big heart. Come, live, invest, and explore the potentials of our Delta. Delta, Delta. In Delta South Senatorial District, the desire of Governor Ifanyo Koa to stem rural urban migration through the provision of roads, even in core coastal communities of Okrenkoko, Ogidigme, 
Ogula, Borotu, Odeja, Kiri, and Oproza have surpassed the expectation of many. We that went to see the riverine area also saw those concrete roads that he has done. They are happy that he has done roads in the riverine area. That is the first time they are seeing such kinds of developments coming to them. If his people are happy, we are also happy on their behalf. The 19.3 km Gula internal road, which cut across five communities of Obotobo 1 and 2, Sokobulu and Yokuri, is being closely monitored by the Okawa led administration, whose desire to link dwellers in the coastal communities with those in the upland through the provision of quality roads network and other basic amenities has drawn commendation from many. I really appreciate you, the way you make it very easy for me to get the road and uh, just a request immediately and it was done. God will bless you and that is how you will get your second tunnel in Jesus' name. Yeah. 1999 now, we haven't experienced any dividends from government. But since Okowa remember us for this road, we are happy that government finally remember us. The same energy is also being applied in the ongoing construction of the Ayakroma Bridge project across River Fokados, which is 612 meters in length. The Ayakroma Bridge project, when completed, will link several communities in Burutu, Wari and Ugeli together for enhanced economic activity and better mobility. With the commencement of this bridge, I want to appreciate the effort of uh, our amiable governor, Governor Dr. Ifani Okowa, that to enable to construct the bridge down to all Ijo community and Urubu people in the river area. We need to greet Delta State uh, government and all the people which are working hard on this project so that we can ac uh, accomplish it on time. The profound commitment to fast-track rural urban link for improved economic and social environment by the okowa led administration is having a positive effect on residents of Odisha Kiri. We all know that road is one of the major uh, means of developing a community. If this road is completed, mostly the bridge, it will not help only with the security, but uh, all the communities within the environment. The governor has given us uh, our needs by approving the construction of the road. The Ogidigbe Ajao Korogbo Seashore Road is also not left out in the desire to foster greater economic ties through rural urban link by the Okoa led administration. Due to the swampy nature of the environment, Governor Koa has adopted the very expensive concrete slab in constructing a good number of roads in coastal communities across the state. When you call him the roadmaster, it's evident in the sense that you can virtually access most remote areas. And in fact, we've also done it in the rural right areas. He crisscrossed from Ugraha to Grenkuku to he went round everywhere before landing in Butu town. And you can see the excitement we saw in that place. Burutu Town now wears a new look as a result of the reconstruction and rehabilitation of the Burutu Internal Road, which serves as a major link and safer access to the Burutu modern market, which is still under construction. The first time the Burutu local government headquarters in 1976 was created up to date, getting a, a concrete tied road. In short, I wept when I saw certain things like this in, in the leadership. So we could have fulfilled all the righteousness of the people. I want to thank the governor for the road so far. He has done a lot. If it's only the road for this town, I really appreciate it. I gave him kudos. Smart Delta. The administration's commitment to stem rural urban migration through bringing infrastructure development to the doorsteps of rural communities are clearly visible in Koko, Wari North local government area. The Awarishi Industrial Park Access Road, Iwere College Road and the Lucky Binosa Road are essential linking routes in Koko Metropolis which will play a vital role in improving the volume of commerce and trade in this coastal community. Commission this road for the use of the people of Orima, local government area and beyond. To the glory and praise of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Oh!
This road leads to an industrial park and we believe that if we provide the needed environment for industrial parks to grow, we'll be creating a conducive environment for the industries to grow and that also means that we are creating a conducive environment for our youth to be gainfully employed. In the center of Wari, the Okoa-led administration has revived the virile commercial life in the oil city through the provision of many access roads linking communities. The Ubeji Access Road, the MPA Bypass Road, the Otieri and Isiri Roads have all combined in making Governor Okoa's Rural Urban Link Program a success. This road is known as the MPA Bypass Road. It was in a terrible state. Ordinarily, I think that this was to be a federal road. But because it affects Deltans and it's a governor of Deltans, he has decided to do it. There was no road in this place and everywhere was mixed up with Potter Potter. Therefore, now we can as well work majestically. In Patani, the newly constructed Udofuri Ohoro Turangyama Tura Pelebri Road today serves as an important link between the people of Patani and Bomodi local government areas. This is just as the rehabilitated 10-kilometer Aviara Araya Pare Road has fostered greater economic bond within these so-called communities. The road wasn't like this before. A lot of portals towards Aviara Araya area. So with this development, we are so grateful and uh, we also lessen the rate of accident because of port road. The road is, is very nice, it's good, government is trying their best. Similarly, the old Embede road linking Olomoro community and several others within the Isoko North and South Axis have led to more growing commercial interest in the area. Interestingly, these roads link communities within one local government area while some others connect two or more local government areas. This is the road linking the Soko North and the Soko South. And before this time, people have been suffering passing through the other way. And the people who have businesses over here, farming, have been suffering a lot because of the bad portions that have been here. But now, since this road has been tied, it has done a lot of good. I really have to say thank you to our Excellency. He has done well because he has enabled the rural people to get closer to the urban people and commodities from the rural area can now reach the rural people at a cheaper rate. In the Delta North area, the Okawa led administration has made its policy of interconnectivity the cornerstone of roads construction in the state. This is because the administration recognizes the vital role road connectivity plays in development and stemming rural urban drift. The construction and commissioning of the Ukunzo or Bongba Itumogo Road, which has linked three major communities and smaller ones into a major economic block in the Anyocha North local government area, is apt for the socio-economic development of the people. If it were two years before, no vehicle will move from that hill to this place. All will be, be drawing, drawing and drawing, but now it's a jolly ride through. So the job is well done and splendid. Before, that hill that you just passed when you were coming, you can't pass it after today's rain. It will be slippery, at times people will fall there, many assets have happened there. But now that the road has been constructed, it's easy now for them to move from here to Selugu to sell their goods. It was just miraculous that Governor Ifa Yokowa did it for us without anything in appreciation. We are very, very grateful. We thank him a lot. In fact, if it is for this community alone, we are sure him second turn up. Also, the 11.7 kilometer Iseluku Iselem Pitime on a Cholona road has been structured to enhance rural urban link as the three main communities that are direct beneficiaries of the road project came out in their hundreds with drums and other traditional musical instruments to celebrate the rehabilitation of Iseluku Iselem Pitime on the Cholona Road, which indigenous of the area have described as key to the economic integration of the communities. This is without prejudice to the Onichubo Ubuluku Road and the Iseluku Onichubo Road, 
which have now made motoring and commuting along this corridor the traveler's delight. This road, as you can see, is very strategic. It traverses three major communities. It's a road of about 11.7 kilometers in length. And so there's no doubt that it's going to open up this area to improve on the economic lives of the people living along this road corridor. This road alone, it has given this government a boost because all our rural dwellers here, our farmers within all these communities, this is now a better time for them now to be part of the economic base of the state. Similarly, the Akoa-led administration's program of integrating rural communities with urban areas as part of efforts to foster economic ties between communities in the state has reared up its head in Abavo, Ika South local government area. When you have a road network like this, the farmers can now transport their farm produce to the market and making a living for themselves. The drainage, look at everywhere. We just want him to continue. If he wants, after the second tenor, he wants the, 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 the third tenor, he should go ahead. For Governor Ibrahim Dakwambo of Gombe State, who was on ground to commission the road, rural urban linkage leads to greater agricultural productivity, which is essential for achieving development and promoting food security. Road projects, no matter how you see them, are some of the most important key things that open up areas, attract economic development, boost a lot of um, activity, and make the community grow bigger and bigger. So for you to start of constructing this kind of project, you mean well for this community. In the same vein, the existing economic and trade ties between the people of Uwero Lubo and Ekwoma communities have been strengthened by the commissioning of the Uwero Lubo Ekwoma Road. Nothing can be better than what we are seeing now. We have never had it so good. We are happy that he did not disappoint the public expectation. We have been able to open communication between these two communities, the Wolopo community and Ekoma community. They are very happy. You can see the number of persons that are here. So we are very happy. People of Ekanot are very, very happy. I want to encourage them to do more. With the completion of the Nsukwa Ejima Niogo Owaledima Road, which was commissioned by the Deputy President of the Nigerian Senate, E.K. Kurimado, the Akoa-led administration has solved an age-long problem faced by the three communities whose farming activities have been hampered due to non-availability of access roads, which is the most widespread means of connectivity between rural and urban areas. I want to thank His Excellency for changing the story of the various communities and local government which uh, this road has uh, discussed. When you have a bad road, you have a challenge of health. We also have the problem of uh, infrastructure. We have different uh, problems, especially problems of movement. But when the road is good, because with the access and ease of movement, it also goes with the economic uh, corridor. The Ministry of Urban Renewal, which was carved out from the Ministry of Environment by the Okoa-led administration to respond adequately to the varying environmental challenges in the state, has not been resting on its oars. To this end, a total of 11 roads projects have been awarded with five roads projects completed, while others are at various stages of completion. The impact of this project is going to improve the socio-economic welfare of those people there because some of them have been cut off like they don't belong to Delta because they don't have access to sea roads. But now they think they can get the impact of uh, the smart agenda like you said. The Asaba Capital Territory Development Authority, which is committed to rapid development of the Delta State Capital Territory in line with the master plan of the State Capital Territory, has been doing its bit of achieving sustainable development through Rural Urban Link. Presently, 66 roads projects have been carried out by the authority since inception. Uh, words cannot express the joy of the people on this corridor because they never believed that they could be remembered despite the, uh, the name that they hear. But today it's a reality. Here we are business people living at this place. We do many different types of business here. Year to year we did not achieve anything but now 
as the governor has built this road, we are going to achieve more. 2019, Okowa will go. Without doubt, the Okowa-led administration has once again demonstrated its commitment to fixing the state infrastructure deficits through roads construction with special buyers for rural urban link.